think art's important for children with disabilities, especially those kids who have autism, because it really gives them an opportunity to really showcase what their talents, their skills, and their backgrounds are like. Karen Donnelly hosts an art show every year with the Yale School, where her students with disabilities can display their artwork. Because of COVID, this year's show had to be virtual. The art show this year, we did it on a platform called artsteps.com, and we were able to create a virtual art gallery for our students to, to showcase all of their beautiful artwork. And it was a 3D art gallery that people could actually walk around and see the art as if they were actually in a gallery um, in real life. Connor Ware is a student at the Yale School. For him, art's not just a hobby, it's his passion and what he spends most of his time thinking about. It's uh, pretty much uh, been to my life for for a while, so I'm always been attached to this thing. I have a pretty much more like a <clears throat> a list of future ideas. I've been I've been working on it for so long. Connor contributed two pieces to this year's art show, but that's just a tiny fraction of the pieces he churns out on a regular basis. He'll sit down and he'll draw, you know, all four canvases in a day or so, and within four days, everything's all painted. I mean. The turnaround time of these is amazing. Not all students are like Connor, but Donnelly says this experience is meant to empower even those who don't love or don't think they're good at art. A lot of times kids, I think, don't feel empowered enough in themselves, and I think that art is a terrific outlet for them to express themselves for who they really are. What do you see in your students when they see their artwork displayed on a wall? It gives me so much pride to see my students' artwork up on the wall. And when I was having my students look at it, they were mesmerized by not only the ability to walk around an art show, but to see their artwork hanging up in a space that looked like a professional art gallery. So how did Connor feel seeing his artwork displayed? I didn't uh, have time to uh, look at <clears throat> the, uh, the, uh, the art show thing because I was, I was a little busy with something, so, but. You were creating more art. <laughs> but mom's a different story. I thought it was amazing. Um, I was an art history minor, so, and I've had the pleasure of traveling through uh, uh, France and going to some of the greatest exhibits and to see my son's work up there. I was, you know, I, it made me, obviously, I was very uh, touched by it. The quality and the diversity of the artwork that was submitted was absolutely amazing. Some of it I would say was even comparable to some artwork you'd see hanging up in a professional art museum. And some of it was just more expressive, but I just found the variety of it, the diversity of it to just be really, really outstanding. For Connor and Jennifer, showcasing his work virtually opens even more opportunities. It gives me the, the hope that, you know, I know that there is some place somewhere the opportunity for him to continue to display his artwork. For now, he'll experiment on Instagram, but hopes to start selling his works in the near future. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Joanna Gagas.